Hey gorgeous gals, welcome back to Contour Image where I help you build confidence through your image. My name is Sharon Ports, I'm a California licensed esthetician and today I'm going to go over the third machine from Medicube. This week I'm gonna go over the ATS AirShot. Now Medicube actually has another machine that looks very similar to this one, so it's really important for you to know to see both of them so that you know the difference between them and what each one works for, like. So this one in particular, it's called the AirShot, which is just like derma rolling. If you know anything about derma rolling, derma rolling is small little needles that they use and roll or punch into the skin in order to stimulate the skin for collagen production. And this also will help to create smaller pores. So a lot of times if you go to the doctor, um, the dermatologist or any of these um, or maybe an esthetician that can do this, uh, what they'll do is they'll, it's usually a roller of little needles on it, but sometimes they can also use ones that are more like they, they actually just punch into the skin rather than rolling over the skin. And one of the best ways to create uh, collagen and elasticity is to kind of basically damage it just enough just to get it stimulated. We're not damaging the skin so much that it's beyond repair. This is something similar to what they'll do just to stimulate the skin in order to get it to kind of function quite quickly in order to produce more collagen. The idea here is that we're kind of sort of trying to trick the skin a little bit into thinking that there's damage at the top so that it needs to feel the need to repair itself. So if we just damage by just slightly pricking it just a little bit over and over again, it will uh, help stimulate the collagen and elasticity much quicker. So then you'll actually start seeing results of firmer, softer skin, as well as specifically in this case, smaller pores. That's kind of one of the biggest things that they deal with when it comes to derma rolling is that it helps to reduce the size of the pores. The other benefit to derma rolling as well is that it also helps product absorption uh, a lot more. Our skin is designed in order to protect, our, protect itself and not just allow anything to really be absorbed. However, things kind of can just be absorbed regardless. Uh, but what it does is it kind of slowly lets it into the skin. Uh, where if we kind of make some passageways for it, it'll have a higher chance of actually absorbing into the skin much faster uh, and much more as well. While I'm on the topic of better absorption for the skin, they've actually ran some tests and they found out that when using the AirShot while putting on products afterwards, it has up to 432% absorption rate. So this would definitely be a really good machine to have if you really wanna get your best bang for your buck and get the most absorption out of really high quality products that you may be using. Now I can say that this thing does work for sure because there have been times, I like to do this actually at night because all I'll do is put on um, just my skincare after afterwards. But if I do it in the daytime before I go to work or anything and I decide to put on sunscreen and then makeup, I can kind of sense a little bit of a slight, I don't want to say burn, but just like sensitivity, I think is what I'd like to say because I mean, my, my skin is kind of a little bit more open. So I, I actually prefer to use this more at night. That way it's just whatever I put on my skin is, is something I want to go into the skin. I don't want my makeup going into my skin. I don't really want sunscreen to necessarily go into my skin. I want that to kind of stay more on top as much as possible, but I don't want my makeup going into my skin. So really, if I'm if I'm going to use this machine at all particularly, I would rather use it more at night so that I can just make sure that anything I put on it, I, yeah, go ahead, soak it all up. <laughs> that way it can be more effective. Now the benefit to using this over something like a derma roller or like a, a needle punch or whatever they want to call that one, I'm not actually sure, but it's it more likely just punches the skin. Um, I pref the thing about this is with needles, if you poke it into the skin and stuff, it can be kind of unsanitary. The other part too is some of them are designed to go quite deep into the skin to the point where it actually does hit more of the dermis area. So sometimes you'll actually see people with like little tiny dots of blood. And that's fine and all. I mean, it's obviously a really good way to really maybe quickly get the skin 
making more collagen and elastin much faster than just a, just a little bit of slight pricking. Uh, but with the air shot, it's so much more sanitary because nothing besides air is actually going into the skin. So one way this thing works by getting air into the skin is it actually uses a high voltage that irritates the skin and is able to kind of press through and create much like the needles would on in, in the skin. Now you won't see them. It's not like all of a sudden you have some gaping hole or anything like that. It's not gonna necessarily make your pores look larger all of a sudden. It doesn't work like that. It Your skin might get a little bit pink. I've noticed mine sometimes getting a, just a slight bit pink. Other people might be more sensitive to things like this, so they might get a little bit more flushed than I would, but it, it kind of goes away within a little while, but it really actually gives more of that nice healthy glow kind of um, kind of pink flushness, not like, oh, you just ran 50 miles, you know, and you're just like exhausted looking or you're like super red or something or had a sunburn. It's not quite like that. It, it just kind of gives you a healthy little slight pinkish kind of color. Now, you're not gonna be able to use this more than maybe once or twice a week. This is not something you can do every day. This is not something that you would probably even wanna do every day necessarily. Uh, but this is, um, you would, but this is definitely something good to use once or twice a week, along with maybe some of the other machines that you can use with Medicube throughout the week. Now, if this is the only one you have, that's totally fine. Uh, or if this is the one that you're thinking of buying out of all the other ones, that's totally fine. You don't have to get, you don't even have to get this, but you don't have to get any of the other machines as well. But it, you know, using them all together, similar to using a whole line all together, or at least having the products uh, of a skincare line, will always give you the best results in using your skincare. And you might as well, if you can, try to get the things possible in order to make it so that your skincare is effective and you really, really reduce and preserve, reduce aging and preserve your youth. So before I show you how I like to use this machine and how it's used in general, I'm going to get you a little familiar with the machine. That way you understand a little bit about how it works and um, just the way it, the machine itself works, the way it might feel and, and the sounds that it will make because this actually will make um, some sounds uh, to kind of let you know how long you've been using it for at that duration of time. So here is the machine and I'm going to let you see how to work it. You just push it down, and hold it down to turn it on. And it tells you the level and you just push the button to raise the level. And you can tell that it gets faster Level and more five. intense as you go up. Level one. And you can tell what a difference between five and one is. Level, level, level four. You can go up quite quickly. Level five. Level one. And to turn it off, you just hold it down. Okay, so now that you've been acquainted with the machine, I have it right here and we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to use it. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of blanked out there. Uh, so there's a few ways you can do it. They say there's like three different ways that you can use this on the skin. Uh, two in which that kind of look the same to me, so I don't know. But when you use it, you can actually just, you know, just press it down and just, you know, have direct contact into specific certain spots, or you can actually just do like a brushing motion. And so, and it, one, you can actually go to the, like touch the skin with it and go like this. And the other one is like, it, it barely touches the skin. You barely touch the skin. Now I used to do it where I would just do the spots like this and everything, but um, I've kind of found that it's, you really feel it a lot more when you do the brushing. I don't know why it's more uh, like, you feel it more when you brush it. I don't know if that's necessarily more effective, but I get the, the impression that it is. So I've been doing that and um, you will feel it. I do go all the way up to level five and um, 
it's very similar uh, the way how it talks back and everything saying one minute past two minute past uh, like our next machine that we're going to see uh, next week because um, this one does that too it has um, uh, uh, it, it goes by one uh, one minute past two minute past three minute past it goes up to five minutes so it's kind of nice to know how long you've been doing that unlike the other two machines you actually have to time it because you just don't know it doesn't give you any indication of how long you've been doing it so this one and the one next week will be doing that too. And you'll notice the two differences between the two. I know my lighting's not head on. I have it on the side, so it doesn't really show very well. But this one is round. And the other one next week has a, like a water drop look. So that's, and it's black versus white. So that'll help identify between the two. All right, so let's get this thing started. So I'm gonna hold it down. All right, so now you know I'm on level four. So actually, right around this area, I like to do my eyes first. Ooh. And I even like to go right in my eyebrow area because I want to tighten that skin up as best I can. And see, I, right here, I'm actually dabbing it. And I'm doing it here too. So I want to get there. All right, and get those crow's feet. <laughs> and then I kind of, it's kind of hard because I'm just using my monitor and you really do feel it. Oh, ow. <laughs> I have to get close enough to try not to touch the skin. I mean, if you touch it, it's not a big deal. Obviously, I'm touching it. One minute half. See, it tells you one minute pass, and usually after that I go into over here now. And my, I just notice I'm really far away. I'm gonna try to give you the effects here. really feel it <laughs> it's kind of I kind of like to go right up on my face here and kind of go up a little bit Two minutes past. all right now this is where I'll start going right in the chin area and lately because I drink coffee I've been kind of breaking out a little bit in this area because it messes up with my hormones but at least I know what it is so it means I need to sometimes I'll dot it too so sometimes I guess I just I do go back and forth but going like this really and then the hardest part is also the nose area oh, kind of fan it out a little bit get around those nasal labial folds want that collagen to be produ produ produced <laughs> oh and then I do my nose. Oh, it hurts here. This is where a lot of people feel it. I do the tip and I go up. I go down here. And here you'll kind of, you might actually kind of smell three it. Minutes past. So it's three minutes. Oh, is where you might actually smell it around your nose. And they say that's just because it is kind of burning the hair a little bit because it, it's it's almost like a laser but it's just using that it's that frequency that's disrupting the skin allowing it to do what it needs to oh all right kind of get this area right here where I have those that line which I think has been helpful I also do a little bit where I have bigger pores right there due to breakouts before in the past particularly right here I kind of move it around a little get that just really past. 
really focus in that spot. And then here is where I'm going to put something in my eye too. I don't know what it is, sorry. <laughs> Around the, the Try to get around here. Now you try to avoid um, anything lower than this. I'm just gonna kind of. Sometimes I say to go this way, but I find it a little easier to go like this. We're almost done, you guys. By the way, you have to have a completely dry flat face. Five minutes past. When it sings its song. <laughs> and then that is the end of it. Um, this one was a little challenging for me to do on my little monitor here over the other one. So I don't know why, but um, yeah. And then I had something in my eye this whole time when I was doing, I still have something there. Anyway, um, forgot to mention before you start using this, this is the one that you have to use on a completely dry skin. You just wash your face and then let it, you know, pat it dry and then just let it dry and then you would use this. Now, after using this, I will uh, go and put, in, put on my serums, put on any masks or anything that I want to have um, absorbed into my skin since now there's a little bit more passageways to get it so that it really comes into my skin a lot deeper than it normally would without it. And um, that way it's more effective and everything. And then I am ready to go now. I think I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure, but uh, usually I like to do this at night so that uh, I can just put everything on my skin and not have to worry about anything like sunscreen or makeup getting a little bit more into my skin. So yeah, that's, that's it. So anyways, thank you again uh, for meeting me here today at Contour Image. And remember you can always uh, visit contourimage.com and um, hopefully I will see you there. And uh, again, thank you for visiting me here at Contour Image today and watching my tutorial. And uh, just remember to stay beautiful for life.